did not get excited with the Thai people. So in Hong Kong, I used to throw the dishes. I used to go crazy. Here, I just go mellow and I get my frustration. They drive me nuts sometimes here, but I shut up. I don't say a word. I love you! Yeah, it's me again. Now, I go back in and I say, hi everybody, you having a good day? It all comes out. You cannot scream at Thai people. We're Buddhist. So I scream at the condo. I get police complaints. I think there's a sicko there. He's loving us every day. But I don't freak every day. I freak once a week. Yeah. Right, can I ask you about why you moved to South Asia? And you had three successful restaurants in Hong Kong. Two of them got Michelin stars. What do you put that down to? Okay, well, my dream was is that, no offense ladies, European, you don't do anything for me, and Americans, no. And Jewish women, they scratch your back. I hate it. So, I didn't want a Jewish princess. I love Asian, whether it's Chinese, Vietnamese, Taiwanese, whatever. I was fascinated that I wanted to go and see. One time, someone told me when I was in Florida, I was digging the dirt, and they said, don't dig too deep, you might go to China. <laughs> and I ended up in China. 1990, I arrived in Beijing, China, and I became the executive chef of one of the biggest hotels in Beijing, China, called the Shangri-La China World yeah, Hotel. And guess what? I ran a staff of 400 people, 12 expatriate chefs that were all older than me. So, did I have to give them a hard time? No. They thought I was a young pup and I didn't know what I was doing. But guess what? I knew what I was doing. I earned the respect. And they used to salute me every day because I can work like a horse. I'm accurate what I do. I can't spell what the shit, but who cares? I voice record. Hello. I was gonna come on to the tire. What's your good points and bad points okay. about the tire? I said, honey, let's go to the shithole of the world. We came here, it stinks so bad. I was, I was on second road, I had to check into the intercomics, I stayed at the base, and then we went to look at real estate. I didn't want to buy anything because I thought, oh, maybe I'll stay here for four months. And guess what? I live happily ever after. This is the most amazing place in the world. It's got ups, downs, weirdos. It's like they accept me. I can do whatever I want if I want to drive on my pink V-Rod down the street. Nobody cares. Singing, I love you, baby. They don't even look at you. I can be myself. I think it's fascinating. They told me there's so many cheap people here. I met Mr. Gert here at the clubhouse. It was empty, and guess what? He said, I Googled you. You need to put your restaurant here. I go, how much is the rent? Just out of curiosity. In this next section, I tried to engage with Harlan and why on social media recently he'd upset so many people. But as you can see, he would not be drawn. Laugh for no, I, no names. No names. Can I come on to this? No names. No names. Okay. No names. We do not dig up dirt. Okay, okay. I'm not digging up any dirt, but what happened on the... Well, the BBC were reporting live from London. I think I was B very... No, it's the BBC okay. from London. Okay, for the... For the for the purpose, we'll do BBC. All right, fine. Reporting from love. I don't know what it is. The Scottish love me, the Irish love me. The Brits have a hard time with me because they call me the Yank. Hey Yank, you're a little bit weird. <laughs> oh really? So did you like enjoy your fish and chips? That was good. <laughs> I love fish and chips. And you know who's got the best fish and chips in town. I know you're gonna kill me. I know you're gonna help me. Rita! Hi. Again. Hold on, tell me about um, your, the concept of your restaurant here in Katamnak. Well, I wanted to do my 38 years of world travel cuisine. I've been all over the world cooking all my life since I'm 14. So it allows me to express myself. I can do Peruvian, I can do Spanish, I can do French, Italian. I love to change my menu every day. I get bored very fast. I like to give the customer a choice. There's restaurants here, like, it's not my business, but they haven't changed their menu in 20 years. It's not my problem. What I worry about is that I want to give the customer the best of the best. And I work hard to do that with pleasure. And when I see the smiles on the face, 
it's all worth so, it. So it's based on food and entertainment? Well, I wouldn't say this restaurant, I wouldn't call it a restaurant. It's a yep. theater. theater. If you want a pompous style dining with the suit and tie and miss you, bonjour, and quiet, and when you gotta eat like this, hey, we're doing all right today? <laughs> this is not the place for you. If you're doing a high profile business meeting, you better not come here. If you want to enjoy the best food in Bataya, and I will say this very strong, Thailand, then you come here and I will give you every drop of my creativity, my passion, my love, and my team will back it up with a beautiful show. It gets really mellow in the beginning and then we build on Crazy. it. I love ringing the bell and buying everybody the key. That sounds good to me. You know what? <laughs> it usually when the customer rings the bell and they buy drinks for the staff. Yeah. No, I don't allow that. I'm generous. I love my customers. They're loyal to me. I'm doing a celebrity party for them. I'm bringing in the best band. I'm bringing in the best dancers. I'm taking out all the tables. We're going to drink from 6 to 9.30. And guess what? Invitation only. Only loyal okay. customers that supported me, which are like 300. Look at this beautiful prime Angus Argentina beef. I do it with a salsa verite. The lamb is for my lamb on crack. I use the best quality. It's 1600 per kilo. And I don't use stuff from macro. I use vegetables from them. This is passion. Passion is about everything in life. If you can't wake up the passion, you better forget it. So, I'm just going to take a little shot. Please don't get scared. Shh. And I'll give you one too if you want. <laughs> Let's wake you up. Oh my God, I feel great. I feel really good. Listen, um, I want to tell you, like tonight I'm going to make about six new dishes. Um, I got V Ritavo with this sweet bread with a scampi. I love it with a fennel puree. Also, I'm going to make a pasta with an angel hair pasta with summer truffles and mushroom puree, slow cooked egg, Spanish, a bitter ham which melts in your mouth. What else am I gonna do? I got some fish tonight. I got some roasted sea bass and I'm gonna do it Citron style. I'm taking you all over the world and you don't even leave. Guess what? I'm gonna take you to the moon without the rocket. <laughs> is that okay with that's, you? That's fine by me. All right. right yeah. Are you ready for the final question? What, what is it? What's the legacy you wanna leave behind? The legacy is that I want to train all the staff in Thailand to get better in their life, to make more money, to buy a car, to raise their children, and I want to give, but I need hungry people, and that's why this team is with me so long. They're starving, and <laughs> I give them the knowledge, and guess what? I pay them so much money, more than market share double. I don't really care. They're lovely people, they're honest, they're gorgeous, and I love Thailand. Holland Goldstein, thank you very much. You've been an absolute star. When I first met Holland, he was very loud and brash, but I didn't find him intimidating and he was very friendly. So, is Holland an act or is he crazy? Guys, he's an actor and a damn good one. I see both sides. And they understand why so many don't like him. He's like Marmite, you either love him or you hate him. Behind the pompous showman, I found a warm and very generous man. Holland must have done something to upset so many people, but there's no doubt in his cooking abilities. Patea was made for Holland. Holland Goldstein is Patea's quintessential chef. Guys, if you like this type of video, good or bad people, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.